Hi, this is Paul the Pie Guru for Coopers TV. We're back where it all began at the four in hand for the finale of the Coopers Pie and Power Challenge. The final judging is taking place right now, so let's get inside and see what's going on. Boys, we've had a whole month of drinking beer and eating pies. How's it been? Mate, it's been great. You've been having quite a good time getting up in the old lederhosen. What are you talking about? A rock style lifestyle, really. Um, just full on eating, drinking, drinking, eating for life. Coopers. Put a wide net around Sydney to try and find the best pie. Sydney blew me away, so the pies and yeah, the whole culture around the food festival was amazing. We went down to three finals and we've got four judges who came down in and ate uh, a sample of each of those uh, pies. 20 bucks for a pie and a schooner at Cooper's Pale Ale is a pretty amazing deal. Now, I don't know about you guys, but some of those pies, they were a big sized pie. I mean, by the end of it, I was stuffed. I love the passion of the chefs, like when you're speaking to the chefs and they're telling you what's in their pies, it was like you couldn't wait to eat them. You look like you might have had the odd pie in your time, have you managed to get out and taste them? A good judge of a pie on me day mate and a beer, it yeah. goes together isn't it? So, so what's a good pie for you Blocker? Uh, I think firstly it's got to look good mate, firstly it's got to look good and then they've got to have bulk ingredients. It was hard because there was two different types of pies, you had these crazy insane pies like um, rabbit and crayfish. The pie is the perfect match with beer and I've said this before, you've got to have, you got bits in the beer and you got bits in the pie, right? <laughs> you know, I just took it to another level, which is it's the way pubs and pies are going at the moment. I mean, at one stage I had rabbit, veal, beef, lamb and hair all in my stomach at the same time. I was a walking abattoir. But that is the life of a guru. There's something about food that brings us all together and there's been an amazing buzz all month and genuinely having having this involvement in the festival has just added another dimension. It's all about ingredients and if you've got a good chef with great ingredients and good ideas, like, who cares if it's in a pub? Like, yeah. the, everyone's a winner. Aside from the pie competition we've done with the Herald and the Sydney International Food Festival, mm. I just got announced last week that we, uh, we were awarded to the industry best beer in the packet and best beer on the tap. So that deserves a round of applause. We're talking about flavours and these guys know it. It's about a flavour experience and, and you know if you're going to have good food, you've got to have good beer with it. You've never had too many pies. One and a half. My first full one for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only early days. It's very good. Yep. Enjoyable. Finals are in no real order. The Riverview Hotel. And they made a very cheap pool. The apple cider pot. So good work, guys. The three weeds in Roselle. The white hair pot. And then lastly, the Australian Youth Hotel uh, had the rabbit and crayfish pies. So, uh, and congratulations to da -da -da, the Riverview Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Berkshire pork and apple cider pie. Um, came out like a, uh, a board for stars, and I love that presentation. Had a little bit of crackling that you could use to dip in the sauce and a bit of a potato. And it wasn't in a pot that I, I kind of... I'm a pastry man, so I like that it wasn't in a pot as well. So that was awesome. That was at the Riverview. Brad, you are the winner of the inaugural Pie and Pale Challenge, mate. How does it feel? Oh, I'm honoured, mate. It's it's very good feeling, yeah. A lot of hard work got into this, so, yeah, glad it's over, though. While you got your moment in the sun, mate, anyone you want to thank? Oh, just the guys in the kitchen. I mean, they've been working round the clock six, seven days a week sometimes, so this is... Like to them, really. I mean, it's uh, yeah, good on them. Thanks very much, Coopers. Cheers, appreciate it.